welcome back to another videos uh, in today's video we're going to discuss about the cause of false positive result of HIV test now false positive HIV result can occur for several reasons and understanding this can help in interpreting test result accurately here are the main cause number one cross reactive with other antibody some infections such as tuberculosis, malaria, and certain autoimmune disease can cause the body to produce antibody that may cross react with HIV test component leading to a false positive result. Number two, a recent immunization vaccinations, particularly for influenza or hepatitis B, can sometimes stimulate an immune response that result in a false positive HIV test. Number three, pregnancy. Hormone change and the altered immune status during pregnancy can occasionally cause a false positive result. Four, technical and human error. Error in testing process such as sample mix-up, improper handling, or technical issues with the test kit can lead to a false positive result. 5. Certain medical conditions. Cond conditions such as liver disease, chronic renal failure, or multiple myeloma can cause false positive due to the presence of abnormal proteins in the blood. Number 6 have recent blood transfusions or transplant. Receiving a blood transfusions or organ transplant can sometimes lead to temporary false positive result due to the presence of donor antibody. Number seven, interference from other medications. Some medications, particularly those that affect the immune system, can interfere with HIV test result and give out false positive result. Number eight, testing window period. Testing test conducted during a window period. The time between potential HIV exposure and the point when the test can reliably detect HIV may result in inconclusive or false positive result due to the low body antibody levels. So these are some of where we can get false positive uh, result of HIV test. So to confirm an HIV diagnosis, a positive initial screening test is usually followed by more specific confirmatory tests, such as the Western blood, indirect immuno, immunofluorescent assay or nucleic acid test NAT. If there's any doubt about a positive result, further testing and consultations with the healthcare professional is recommended so that is what we have to discuss here thank you for watching see you in my next video and bye for now